Hi, I'm Kep Kepner, CPA here in Dallas. I've talked to you in the past about some of the ways to write off equipment either in the year of purchase or 50% of it using a special depreciation allowance, which we're all allowed to use. Now, as a practical matter, this means you're taking a deduction today that you won't be able to take in the future. It also means that if you reduce the, the what's called the basis or the cost of equipment by writing it off this year, if you sell it in a later year, you might have a profit at that time. So if Uncle Sam is going to tax me either now or later, what would you rather have? Well, let me tell you, if I have higher income today and I know that I have higher write-offs next year, so I'm going to earn less, I want to write that off today. That way I'm going to pay less tax today and I'm going to use that money in support of my business and my family. On the other hand, if my business is profit is low this year and it's going to be much higher next year, maybe because you've been using my firm to help you with your tax planning, so next year I'm going to have higher profit, maybe I don't want to write that all off this year and save maybe 15% when next year I can save 28%. So you have some decisions to make about your equipment and when you buy it and how you put it in service. Putting it in service is a technical IRS term that says if I buy something and I don't use it or intend to use it, I can't begin depreciating it. Okay, So you need to be cognizant of that particular issue. So as a business owner, you can not only buy things that you need to buy, but you can choose when to put them in process. So tax planning is not always about eliminating tax. It's really more about making your business profitable and using those profits to grow your business and to grow your profits and to achieve your goals, not only for your company, but for you as the owner. So it's more than just taking a tax deduction, because if you take a deduction today, you don't get the deduction tomorrow. So if you take it tomorrow, you don't get it today. So you have to be astute in using the tax law to get the maximum benefit for you. Now, most of my clients, I've got to say, take the position, I'm going to take it now regardless, and I'll worry about it in the future. And if you're in a growth mode, that may be the best decision. But it shouldn't be made on a motion. It should be made on an analysis of your situation. So if you need help planning your cash flow, deciding when to buy equipment and when to write it off for your business, then that's right up our alley. We'll be glad to help you with that. Give us a call.